The ability to communicate effectively can work wonders in your career. The best way to further develop your communication skills is by attending civilian education, college. If you have gone to college already, maybe this video is not for you. If you're an NCO and you haven't really taken any college classes, I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend you consider the possibilities. And you may think like, oh, I don't have the time. I have work, I have a family, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I've heard it all, man. I've heard it all. I understand that folks with multiple kids that may have a unique situation. Every other excuse, I've been there, I've done that, I got the t-shirt. My wife and I uh, graduated uh, college of the same year. After eight years of marriage, working professionals, career field that we've been working at for years. I started my career before I even got married. She started hers maybe a year or two before uh, we got married. And it, it was like eight years into our marriage, we were both walking across the stage with our degrees. We both had sleepless nights. We were both worked 50 plus hours a week and we still managed to get through school. So that excuse of, I don't have time, is garbage. And we took full loads. We didn't take like one class a semester. We took full loads. The issue with time is that you don't realize how much time you have until you use it. Prior to me attending college, uh, I didn't think I was gonna have enough time. I started with one class, then two, then three. I remember, and I was like, man, I can't take anymore. I remember signing up for five classes one semester, and I was working a minimum, like a, a short week for me was 50 plus hours, like 50, 55 hours. It was not uncommon for me to work 70 hours a week and still had my military obligation and my position required me to do planning and training in between drills and dealing with my commander, and I still managed to get through it. And I look back and I go, wow, I didn't realize how much time I actually had until I used it. Think about that. As far as money, you may say, hey, I don't have post 11 GI Bill. I've never been active duty. I've never been deployed. I don't have a large enough percentage that will cover my school. You know, look at what programs your states have to offer. A lot of states, they, for any military, current military member, they waive your tuition completely. And that's independent of your GI Bill. Look into that. You, you don't know what you have until you look for it. And in other states, may have tuition assistance award program, like a scholarship that is non-competitive. Uh, like I used one that the only requirement was that I was a current member of the National Guard and that I filled out a piece of paper and sent it to them uh, every year uh, with the commander's signature saying, hey, I'm a member of the National Guard in good standing, right? You gotta make sure that you're not flagged or anything funky like that. Finish my last two years and save my GI Bill for my graduate degree that I'll be hopefully starting out soon. Um, and if I were to give, it's like, okay, so where do I start, where do I go, right? When I see NCOs writing and it looks horrible, or when I see an NCO trying to articulate a thought but they can't structure, uh, you know, an argument, you know, uh, those are the indicators that, hey, you are a good fuel leader that can't communicate for crap. So you need to take some communication classes, some critical thinking classes, and classes that will help you develop a thought and articulate your main point, right? If you want one of my NCOs, and I was giving you advice on what classes to take, first, English 101. Even if you graduated high school, even if you graduated high school recently and you're junior enlisted, take English 101. Just take it, because it'll give you the rules that it's the basis of all communication. The second class I recommend taking would be creative writing class. Creative writing will force you as an individual to think outside of, of defined boundaries and structures. Basically develop thoughts and putting them into, you know, kind of break the rules of writing a little bit. For me, it was almost like the art of storytelling. The third class I recommend taking is critical thinking. Critical thinking, that's the class will help you structure thoughts and ideas into like something that people can read and understand or listen to and understand. That's where you're gonna get your bang for your buck when it comes to communication. And then the final and fourth class recommend taking will be public speaking or argumentation and debate or any type of verbal communication classes. They'll also teach you how to uh, structure an argument in a written form, but the verbal aspect of it is, is what I think is valuable. So consider those four classes. English 101, creative writing, critical thinking, 
and then a uh, speech class or public presentation class or argumentation and debate as a fourth class, some kind of verbal communication class. And it, it, you'll be surprised how much you evolve just from those four classes and how you, you take it. I say if you're not interested in getting a college degree or going to college and, and you have other stuff going on and your, your claim is that you don't have time, you have time. Uh, take one class a semester. You know, it'll take you a year or two to complete it. The, the benefits of doing that is that one, you don't have to dedicate your life to it and, and, and you create an hour or two, you know, every, every few days or twice a week uh, to complete your class and stuff like that, plus your homework. And then you'll continually develop your communication skills. Those great leaders, if, if you look historically, great leaders are able to articulate their ideas, whether it be in the business world or military world, you know, there, there are many great leaders that aren't awesome communicators. I mean, the great leaders that that a majority of the public can latch on to their ideas and bring the ideas forward. Guys, thank you very much for driving with me. Make sure you check me out on the next drive time and don't forget to check out my other videos. Peace.